Hi, I'm Rob Wilson. Welcome to the EmployCo HR Chat. With me is Jason Eisenhut, our Vice President of HR. Hi, everyone. So, Jason, July 28th, National Internship Day. So, yeah, great day for uh, college students and, and for businesses alike. It's it's uh, internships are a great way for for both the the student and the company to benefit. There's mm-hmm. advantages that can, if as long as the companies are doing it right and the students are doing it right, it's, it can really lead to some some nice beneficial learning on both parties. Yeah, I think it's really important for companies that if you don't have one and are planning one, think through the process, uh, make sure you've got the work available. And then you really, uh, w- when you try and match up the work uh, and the job responses with the students, really look at what their majors are. You yeah. want to make sure they're connected in, in some way. Yeah, no longer. I think the days are gone with help us clean out our file cabinets, go wax the floor. Really, the, the, it should be real work assignments uh, and real projects and tied to their major. That's the, kind of the, the, the best idea. And obviously, there's other tips of getting continuous feedback from the, the intern throughout the process. There's exit interviews, which are a great idea at the mm-hmm. end of the, the internship. But in terms of the actual work, yeah, try and create a job description ahead of time, make it related to the major, get some easy, doable, build confidence, work projects and assignments. And, and I think you'll have a great success. Yeah, like you said, exit interviews are, are a great opportunity for you to really learn from the interns. You know, what did you do well? What what needs improvement? And a, another tip just back, you know, a lifetime ago when I was, uh, was young and uh, internships, we never got paid for anything. So really, today's marketplace and Department of Labor, you know, you, you really should be paying your interns. Yeah. And speaking of paying, one of our clients had a really innovative idea to attract interns. They were having trouble the last few years of getting good internships in their building. So they're now giving a $2,000 scholarship. They put that in the, the job ad, $2,000 scholarship to any interns. So if you think about it, okay, was that 2000 really? But but if at the end they didn't get a good internship and they pay a recruiter $10,000 the next May to try and find someone, that two thousand compared to the ten thousand dollars, it really, really helped them get some really high end uh, internships for their for their company. Yeah, it's really a great opportunity as well for you as a company to look at people that you want to hire for next year. So, so many, a lot of our clients are doing trips. My my youngest son's doing an internship this uh, this summer, and it's a great opportunity for for businesses and the students to look at you know who are you going to be hiring next summer this you know the summer of 23 so you could really identify those future hires and and in some of the competitive industries those job offers are happening for those seniors in college yeah, right. you know, by October yeah and, and stay in communication so if an internship really did go well stay in communication what at least once a month shoot them an email give them a call send them a text instant message stay in contact with that kind of former intern before they graduate if they if it was a successful internship because you'll that'll right. give you a leg up on hiring that person when when the school year is done right so thank you for some great tips any questions uh, happy to help anytime uh, hr at and uh, we appreciate you checking out our hr chat thank you very much